what is the solution to the mass obliteration of colonial consciousness and what do you think is the way forward and in this regard what would you like to convey to the students of iit madras <laughs> i don't know if i have any any message for the students of iit madras they are among the smartest brains in the country uh, at least that's the impression so please hold on to it <laughs> please keep it alive uh, mm, what i would want to certainly say is my tone may be grating and the aggression with which i come out with the at uh, the opposite side may be jarring at times but you must realize that all of this is the product of what i have seen in uh, campuses during my days on campus so this is not me trying to get back at them but this is me trying to make campuses less miserable for people like me on campus so that people are not cancelled for a particular opinion and you have the guts to discuss a particular position and under no circumstances should an anti bharat position be tolerated under at any cost we can have our differences but if it has even the slightest of separatist tendency or the the encouragement for secessionism that's a non negotiable there neither freedom of speech will save you nor the constitution because the constitution speaks against sedition or at the very least it speaks against anything that contributes to throwing uh, let's say sowing fishes in the integrity of bharat that cannot be tolerated let us at least have some consensus on certain non negotiables and start the discussion not with labeling and stereotyping you are predominantly a technical institution a technological institution which means at the very least allow facts to breathe allow the data to drive your opinions and not the other way around start with that you lose you lose you win you win period i went to one university of the two universities which are very popular in sonepat one of them had plasters uh, let's say posters plastered across the walls brahmin go back all over the place snide remarks and all that i've seen this enough the if you think this is going to affect me you really don't know who you're up against <laughs> you have no idea but i still went ahead and engaged with the students and pushed them on facts and logic my hunch is that a significant amount of people buy into this utter garbage out of peer pressure because they have to survive on campuses i am hoping that we free them of the fear of having to survive on campuses but then the reality is their academic survival should not depend on their political opinions and that responsibility falls on the establishment show your commitment to free speech by allowing plurality of thoughts and by having the ability to confront a particular position on merits in public i'd rather have a, an open public debate with someone who comes from a diametrically opposite camp than shut him up by saying you are an anti indian i'm not going to start with that i will hope that it is established by the time i'm done with the debate through facts and evidence i would want to prove that but i will not start with the labeling i will start by pushing you needling you and troubling you with facts and then at some stage your anger is bound to come out at some stage you're bound to lose your balance and temper out comes the beast thank you my case is done that's it mr rovesi has had a taste of that so it will happen